time for a special edition of Ask Wendy and Kathy. Who better? Kathy. The two oracles. Kathy. Yes. Here we go. How you doing? Hi. How you doing? Uh -huh. Hi, Wendy and Kathy. Hi. How can My we name help? is Jeffrey. Hi, Jeffrey. I've been seeing a guy for about three months now. Mm -hmm. We met online. It's Grindr. not a no. <laughs> just asking, I'm just asking, no. just asking. It's not official yet. When should I get rid of my profile and how do I ask him to get rid of his profile? They're both currently active. How long have you been together? We've been seeing each other for three months, but it's not official yet. Mm, intimate? No, not yet. Oh. oh. Well, I say that's the moment, right? Oh, well, wait a minute. I normally say three months is the time to either decide to continue on or break up. Mm. But you haven't been intimate, so no. you, you got to... Got to get that first, because what if it's bad and you don't even want to be with him? You know? Um, what do you say, what, Kathy? What I think is, what if you if you're intimate or you agree to be intimate, and then you say, okay, once we do this, I'm not going to do it with anybody else. How about if you don't do it with anybody else, and can we agree? Okay. And I think like a that's deal. Perfect. It's a deal. Because I think the three month mark is a perfect mark in the beginning of a relationship. Three months is where you either boop or get off the pot. Okay. Okay? Good perfect. luck. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. 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 How are you, you doing? doing? <laughs> so, me and my boyfriend have been together for six years, and we graduate college next year, and we're thinking of moving into an apartment, but his parents are totally against it. They want him to move back in with them. No. So, how do I persuade him and his parents to let us get our own apartment? Kathy? How old are you? 21. I just turned 21. So you started dating when you were 15? Yeah. All right, teen mom from Kentucky. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. Uh, no, go ahead. I don't like any of this. No, I'm just saying. Uh, OK, I, I know you love him and everything, but here's the deal, girl. Uh, <laughs> you know, we women suffer the most when we get in serious relationships because uh, oftentimes we don't know how to live by ourselves, pay, yes. pay our rent on time, change a tire. There's financial issues. And by the way, my inner Susie Orman is coming out now. <laughs> so I want a cohabitation agreement signed before he I is allowed even, to live with I you. I don't want him moving back home, but he has to deal with that with his parents. But what I want you to do is go out and get yourself a studio apartment and live by yourself. I don't care whether you have rats and roaches. <laughs> the, the point is, dearie, it's time for you. I'm not asking you to break up with him, but I want to see you be independent. Because if you go on to marry this guy, one day you're going to regret that you never turned a key to your own place. That's you true. will. You will. That's true. I had my own. I lived in a studio apartment. I lived in one room in Santa Monica for six years. I was so happy there. I was, it was my say, own was... place. Exactly. A room. Trust I loved us. it. It's like my Trust. castle. Okay. How you doing? How you doing? My name is Caitlin. Okay. Um, I wanted to talk to you because I've been dating a guy for about six months, and at first he was so into it, calling all the time, texting all the time, wanted to see me every day, and then after about three months, he just started to kind of get distant, a little more silent. The text messages were more spread out. I know, right? And and so um, now it's been about six months, like I said, and he's almost gone. And I wanted to see what you think I should do to re-engage because I really like him. Okay, you've been seeing him. Mm -hmm. She didn't say that. It's her boyfriend. Right. Can I be brutally honest? Please. He's over it. <laughs> oh. Am I, uh, is he over it? Yeah. Hang me out to dry to be the mean lady. <laughs> he, he's over so it. Afraid of. But you want to know what? You can have the conversation. And, and hear it from him, or maybe he'll lie to you and string you along till July, mm -hmm. you know, because men a lot of times have no heart for the truth. Right. Or you can realize it yourself with all your friends here. He's, he's what you all? Oh, how you doing? Hey, Lindsay, how you doing? All right. Okay, so I've been I like so... your jeans. Thank you, girl. Mom <laughs> jeans. Are they mom jeans? Mom jeans. I got for two dollars at the Goodwill, honey. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Model and I'll consult you. Here, take off your scarf so people can see. Now, no, keep talking though. Oh, okay. Multitask. So, um, I've been celibate for a couple of years, and um, I've been dating this guy. Um, I went on a couple of dates with him, and um, we're going on our third date soon. And I wanted to know, is that the right time to let him know that I'm celibate, or was I supposed to tell him that the first time? On the first no, date? I think the third date is perfect. The number three in relationships matters so much. Mm -hmm. If you've been with somebody for three months and you're thinking about breaking up, now's the time maybe to break up. If you've been with somebody for three years and he hasn't asked about putting a ring on it, now's the time to put a foot in his back and say what's going on. That's the word. And, and you've been on it. This will be your third date. Third date. Now's the time to start speaking. 
spilling little tiny secrets about yourself that won't make him run. Definitely. And being celibate in those jeans, he's going to find that hard to believe, girl. How you doing? Hello, Wendy. How you doing? Better now that you're here. Oh, yes, my name is Jackie Baker, and I'm, I'm 48 years old, and I've been married for 27 years. Okay. And um, I have, the last three years, I... I turned, I um, decided not to perm my hair, and I went natural for the last three years, and I'm embracing it, and I'm loving it, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. However, I can't get my husband to embrace it, and uh, how do I, the question is, how do I get my husband to, to stop threatening to perm my hair in my sleep? <laughs> In your sleep? Yes. I mean, men have to get over it. Yes. You know, you know, years and years of wear and tear on hair, you know, and your hair actually looks very, very nice. Thank you. I mean, you take the time to color it. Yes, yes. It's not like you're totally natural. Right. You take the time to color it. You right. take the time to twist it. Absolutely. It looks like it has some definition. Absolutely. He'll get, he's been with you for 20 years. Yes. He'll, he'll get over it. Yes. You know, you know, ask him what a compromise is because you're not going to be permanent. So I deal with it. Right. Yes. All right. Good luck, Jackie. Thank you. Uh -huh. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm Daisy. I'm from Brooklyn. Daisy. How are you doing? I like your name. Thank you very much. Uh, so my little dilemma is I want to get breast implants, and my boyfriend come to the right person. Exactly. <laughs> All right. I knew I was. How can I help? So my boyfriend's not too fond about it. You know, he wants me to stay natural. Doesn't feel <sighs> like I should do it. So should I just show up one day and surprise him? <laughs> <laughs> Meet the twins. Like I did to my parents. Yeah, so I'm like, what do you think I should do? Um. How old are you, Daisy? 26. You have money already saved up? Yes, girl, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you been with this fella? About two years. Two, two years. Two years. Yeah. Is he older than you? Same age. Same age. Yeah. Do you want to marry him one day? Absolutely. Well, see, that changes everything. I know. Because at 26, I would have gone on to do it because right? that's the kind of girl that I am, knowing that at 26, I'm not going to be marrying, you know, my boyfriend. <laughs> um, no, you can't sneak and do it. But what you can do is you can make the appointment for the consultation and you bring your boyfriend along with you. Okay. But you double back around, call the doctor's office before you get in there and let them know because the... The plastic surgeons are used to difficult men. Give them right. the heads up so that the, the doctor says all the right things. things right. Don't say anything crazy. <laughs> okay? And, and um, I think that he'll appreciate you bringing him. I think he would too. And also, even the size. Like, how big are you? Are you going Just this big? D. I wouldn't mind a D. You know. D. Well, what do you have now? You look it's good. Like Sure. Do you stuff? No, girl. Okay. No, because they, 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 they look good now. The only way I'm stuffing is if I'm getting them. <laughs> if you know? you're getting them. Yeah. Um, take him with you. All right. Good luck. Thank you so much. Listen to the doctor carefully, too. What are you doing one day? <laughs> Here we go. So, my name is Michael, and my partner and I have been dating for almost six months. Now, when we go out, I introduce him as, this is my partner so-and-so. But when I get the introduction, mm -hmm. it's as Michael. Here's Michael. So, I don't get the title, or I don't know what's the... Should I be concerned? I let it slide once, Wendy. Yes. Okay, because I'm watching you, and I listen to you. Yes. I let it slide once. Because you know I always say titles are important. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so, I came especially today to ask you personally, should I be concerned? be concerned regarding cheating, but I do think that you need to nip this in the bud and explain to him that we both think, me and you, we both think, mm -hmm. titles are important. There's a difference between being a lover, uh -huh. a boyfriend, mm -hmm. a wife, uh, you know, all that. <laughs> you hear Wendy, right? Okay. Titles are important. Thank you, Wendy. Best of luck. You. Love you too. I love my dramatic people. Stay, listen. Up next, we're going to meet a woman who met a guy and had a great date with him. The next, the next day, he sends her a nude photo of himself. So you're the one. I am, yes. My name is Haley Wendy. Lovely to meet you. That so... Oh, I met this guy, super cute, uh, met him at a bar, we spent all night talking, and uh, the next day, he sends me a nudie pic of his... his of his penis? Uh-huh. Yeah. So I'm, I'm like, what do I do? Because it was a great time. <laughs> he has a lot of potential. Yeah. And it was, it was kind of nice. So... <laughs> do I give him a chance? Oh, no, you, were you asking Wendy? Yeah. No. 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 
he make, he's, makes poor decisions. He's, he's apparently only wants to have sex with you. And there's something in your conversation at the bar that he read that you that he can get away with doing this, uh, sending. So it is very disrespectful. Yeah. 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 yeah you know. Right. He said I was marriage material. Okay. Well, tell him you're not. <laughs> uh, you know. You know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. I, I mean, if you want to pursue the relationship, we have to get that out of the way. Like, I don't know right. what you thought you were doing. Okay. Sometimes you meet a guy and you really do like him and, you know, one little thing screws it up. So if you feel like giving him a little bit of time with this, find out what about you made him want to send a picture of his penis. Oh, it's very yeah. disrespectful. Mm -hmm. and, and second of all, now he's going to have to wait. Uh, uh huh. And okay. Now, now he'll have to wait for the sex. Okay. Uh huh. I have the upper hand. Yes, that's what I'm saying. How you doing? How you doing? I'm Jody. I'm 40 years old. I gave birth to four kids and adopted two. Okay. My oldest daughter is 23, and she doesn't know I'm currently five months pregnant. And two years ago, when really, she, I was really skinny. Oh, oh. <laughs> but th so then she should know. Does she live near you? No, she lives in San Antonio with her husband. Well, the show plays there. Your mom's pregnant, girl. <laughs> okay, so, so what's your question? Um, two years ago, she asked me not to have children because it's her time now, and I'm so upset about, like, disappointing her. How do I get her to accept that she's going to have a new brother or sister? Well, what makes her think it's her time? I don't know. Okay, well, it's not her time. It's everybody's time. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's her time when she got married. Mm -hmm. Then it'll be her time when she gets pregnant. It's not her time. Mm -hmm. it, you know, unfortunately for her, mm -hmm. it's your time again, Mom. And it's, just promise her you're not going to have any more. Is that doable? Yeah. <laughs> All right, then here's what you do. When you get home tonight, uh, call her up and say, watch the Wendy Williams show today. <laughs> okay, I will. On, honestly, tell her to watch the show. I okay? Will. All right, very, very How well. How are you doing? How are you doing, Wendy? Good. How can I help? Um, my ex and I have been broken up for about three months now. We've dated for about a year. However, I notice this hot, hot co-worker in the gym sometimes. Wendy, the man is so fine, I can't take my eyes off of him. Uh -huh. <laughs> is he off limits? Whose co-worker is he? Your ex's? My ex's co-worker. Yeah, he's off limits. <laughs> uh, yes! They, they were together for a, you were together for a year with him, and you've yeah. been broken up for three months. Mm -hmm. but th there's other guys out there. Okay. You, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. All right. Very well. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Well. How are you doing, Wendy? Very well. My name's Shannon, and I have some great lingerie from old relationships, uh -huh. and I'm wondering if it's taboo to recycle them into my current relationship. Man, what? The next man doesn't know what you were wearing for the first man. Keep your lingerie. Okay. That stuff is expensive. How you doing, lady? I'm good. My name is Trina, and my ex-husband has a tendency to send me freaky text messages for his new boo thing. So I want to know how to get him to stop sending me the messages before I have to have my new husband check him. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> how long were you married to your ex? 17 years. And how long have you been divorced? Almost eight. And how long have you been married to your new husband? One year and a few weeks. Yeah, no, there's a problem here, but you have kids with your ex-husband, mm -hmm. so you should check him without your new husband being involved. I have. Okay, no, it's time to check him again without the cute eyelashes and the adorable <laughs> smile. Right, You know, right. you have to check him like you mean it. Right, okay. 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 Very well, good Thank luck. You. Hi, Wendy. My name is Gail. I have a friend who continues to hang out with my ex-boyfriend. They even went on a group trip, but really it was just another couple. Um, so I think I should give my friend an ultimatum, but I'm not sure to say we can't be friends if you're going to keep hanging out with my ex. How old is your friend? She is 30. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been friends with her? We've been friends for, mm, since high school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how long have, were you dating your ex? Uh, for two years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In recent years, not, this is not like a high school ex. No, this was like last year. <laughs> okay. Gail, here, here's my thought on friendship. I'm going to be very clear about this, okay? Because I, I love friendship, but I don't like a whole lot of maintenance because I'm busy. <laughs> don't talk to her about this. If she doesn't know at, at your age what is proper protocol with friends and exes, then she'll never know. Mm -hmm. How about we just break up with her right now on the show? You're not friends with her anymore. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. We're done. Done. <laughs> All right, uh, and don't and don't take her back begging, cause she made her choice. Okay. If you have to beg her, then she's not worth it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we don't play on Ask Wendy. Hi, Curly. Hi. 
My did name's you, Brianna. How are you Did doing? you do this for us? I did. Thank you, Brianna. Come okay. on out. Okay. How can I help you? Hi, so I work at a bar, and I have a customer who's been coming in to see me about every day, and recently he found me on Facebook, and he's been sending me messages every day. Yes, it feels a little borderline stalkerish. So my question for you is, he knows I have a boyfriend, and... How does he know that? Well, because I've Facebook. mentioned his name. Oh, and Facebook. Oh. And I've mentioned his name a bunch of times, too. I'm not shy about it. So <laughs> I just want to know, should I get my boyfriend involved? And how do I, you know, handle this situation and telling this Is guy? Is your boyfriend a hothead who's going to come in there <laughs> with, a, with a baseball bat? No, no. Okay, no. then mention it to your boyfriend. Okay. Definitely. Definitely, yeah. Just and to get you know what? Stuff. Mention it to the bar owner. Okay. Or whoever's doing management yes. at that night. Let them know what's going on. Good idea. All right. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hi, Wendy. I'm Rachel. Um, and I have a question for you. Um, I have been married for two years, and I have and I have one daughter, and I have one on the way. And I love my husband. He's awesome. Okay. But he does this thing where he calls. I'm not joking. At least five times a day. Now I'm have a, my daughter is only one, and. I'm maybe at the library or at the grocery store at most, so how do I get him to stop calling me so many times? I, I don't get it. I don't want him to cry or anything. I just want him to call like once or twice. It's a pretty good problem to have. Thank God. Like your man cares about you, he's concerned. The one-year-old is a goober and you got one on the way. Ugh, what a goober. Be grateful. How you doing? Wait, who, how you doing? How you doing, Wendy? My name is Michelle. How you are you? way too elegant to have problems. <laughs> What is going on? Well, here's the situation, Wendy. My 31-year-old son's friend is always making passes at me. Oh! Now, okay, go. I find it very flattering, I must say, because a hunk he is. I mean, fine. Okay. So, I just don't know how to handle it, okay? Should I approach my son and tell him what's going on, or should I approach his friend and put him in check? What should I do? Are you single? I am, but... <laughs> These women back here are saying, get him, girl, on the low. I'm not, I'm not saying that. Okay. But what I will say is if you, if you approach your son, then your son is going to beat the crap out of his friend. And you're right. Exactly. So don't let your son know what's going on. Talk to his friend. <laughs> but his friend's not going to listen. So you just always make sure you're fully clothed <laughs> when, he, when he comes over. Yes, yes. It's good, though, right? Yes. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, one more thing. Who's the friend look like who's famous? I would say like a Morris Chestnut. Hey! How you doing? How you doing? How, you doing? <laughs> How can I help? Okay, Wendy, I'm Ron Coleman from Omaha, Nebraska. I'm 21, and this is my G Mom Margaret. How you doing? Hi. How you doing? Hi, Grandma. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is my question. Um, I'm a uh, college football player. I'm currently being scouted by the NFL right now. So, really? Yeah. Good for you. Yes. So I graduated college two weeks ago, and at my reception, I asked my girlfriend to marry me. She said yes. So yeah. Was, so yeah. So yeah. She said yes, and I was so excited. So here's what the problem lies in. You know, I'm being scouted for the NFL, and my G mom thinks that I should wait. So here's my question. Should I follow my heart or should I listen to my G mom? Because I love both of them, so. You, you need to listen to your grandmother. <laughs> See? And I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Tell, tell him, Wendy. Tell him, Wendy. I'm gonna because I, I know you're going to say what I'm thinking. Go ahead. <laughs> no? No, I, because he's young. He's 21. And, I mean, he has some life to live before he commits. They can, they can be engaged, Wendy. And they, they can be engaged for 10 years if they want to. Yes. But marriage is not, is a, not an option at this point. And I'm going to add something into okay. this. Yes, Whether you are go. oh, I love being called ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> A lot of ladies think that that makes them old. Oh, yeah. But, no, um, but no, yeah, respectful. Um, whether you were going to, into the NFL yes, or going off to the Army mm -hmm. or going to law school mm -hmm. or going to own a sports bar, right. 21 is too young to be getting engaged and to be thinking about marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it, it might be too late to take the engagement ring back because yeah. I, I would... I, I would stay with her. I wish that you hadn't asked her yet. I mm -hmm. believe in your young love, but just, yes, right. it's, you know, you got too much life to too live. Soon. Too mm -hmm. soon. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, but keep her close and, and good luck. Thanks for the advice. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you're very welcome. How you doing?
How you doing? Hi, Wendy. I'm Rebecca. How you doing? Fine, Rebecca. <laughs> so recently I met a guy on a dating website a couple weeks ago, and he cut right to the chase and told me he wanted me to hook up with him and his girlfriend. Oh. I know. Didn't offer dinner or drinks. What do you think I should do? <laughs> no dinner, no drinks. I'm starving over here. <laughs> so if he bought you dinner and drinks, would you have hooked up with he and his girlfriend? No. <laughs> Are you fluid? Sexually? Yes. Okay. But he just wasn't the one for you? No. And did you meet the girlfriend? Nope. See, why do people go on dating websites to, to hook, hook up? I, I mean... I guess I was just testing the waters. Yeah, yeah. Well, so what's your question? <laughs> Are you wrong? Should I go no, out with them? No, feed me first. Exactly. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? I'm Toya, and um, I've been seeing a guy for about two years. Um, I know it's not serious, but I recently found out that he had a serious girlfriend with a key. And um, I found that out by her actually being in the room. She came, Standing over you yes, in, in bed? The bed and, <laughs> did she, did, yes, screaming, like screaming. Which, was, what'd you do? I, I just looked at him, like, uh, you need to explain that. <laughs> okay, because you didn't know that he had a girlfriend, no, so it's not I, like you were poaching on somebody's relationship. No, I just... But here's the, here's the hard fact in my head. He doesn't want you for girlfriend material. You're perfect for what you are. You don't want to be with him. You see he deceived a woman already. I'm sorry, Toya. I know. And, and the thing is that when you see a guy for two years, you got to put your bid in for girlfriend status as soon as you feel it. I like, should've. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? you got to put that, put that bid in. How are you doing? How are you doing, Wendy? My name's Anita, and I'm from London. I see. And you're very well put together. Thank you. Face the audience as you okay. ask your question. So basically, I have this close friend, and um, she loves to share food. I mean, when we go out to restaurants, she likes to nibble on my plate. Ew! And I find that gross. How do I let her know that I don't want her on my plate without being rude? <laughs> sometimes I'm from Jersey, okay? And sometimes rude is very necessary. I don't like to share my food. Get your fork off my plate. If you want some, wait until I'm full with it, then I'll push the plate over to you. Exactly. Are you like that? Like, I'm a cow. I'm a foodie. Like, don't mess with my food. Exactly. You can't take one of my fries. No. Okay? Definitely, Wendy. You, you gotta be a little more Jersey. Okay. <laughs> Say it like you mean it. Yeah, I'll definitely take that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> One more quickie. Hey, Wendy, I'm Lauren. How you doing, girl? How you doing, Lauren? Okay, I lived with a friend and her boyfriend, and we moved, I moved in with her, and okay. then her man started flirting with me heavy. Of course. I told her about it. She talked to him. I thought we moved on. Then he came on to me physically. I told my friend. She got mad. She put all my stuff out on the porch, told me to get out. But I do miss my friend. I miss the friendship. Should I reach out to her, or should I just dead it? All right, well, first, um, how old are you, honey? 31. 31. Lauren, um, and, and there are no children in the house? I have a daughter. She put my daughter and my stuff. Why do you all wait to tell me about kids? Like, <laughs> kids are the big sounding point of any Ask Wendy. So you have a daughter. How old is your daughter? 18 months. Okay, so she's living in the house with you and the boyfriend and the girl. First yes. of all, the relationship with you and the girl is over. Mm. Second of all, have you moved? Yes. Okay, uh, and you want to reach out? Yeah. Resist. Okay. <laughs> 